Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, today in this particular video, I'm going to discuss about all the possible ways to apply jobs in the data science industry as a data analyst, as a data scientist, or as a business analyst or data engineers. This video will be very super important for all the people who are planning this kind of transition roles. Okay, so please make sure that you watch this video till the end. And whatever things that I'm actually talking uh, in this specific video or the process that we are probably going to follow, uh, this is from the proven results. Like people have already got these jobs by following this particular approach, the way of applying the jobs over there, right? So what all things they actually focused on, what all things they went or what all process they basically followed, I'm going to basically talk about all those things. Now to start with right now, you'll be seeing that the competition is very, very, uh, good like many people are applying for very very different kind of roles the people who are having the best resume the best kind of works are basically getting shortlisted they are basically also having the interviews and they are able to also clear right the, the interviews itself so the first most very important thing that is is your resume because your resume plays a very important role right and with respect to resume let me just share my screen and show it to you now i've already created a lot of videos regarding resume and out of that this is probably the best video that i have probably created with a resume because the resume was quite amazing this resume was of rohan patankar and he was a fresher and he probably got selected in three two to three companies i guess but if you probably go through his resume I'll give this particular video link in the description of this particular video so that once you see this resume right here, you'll be able to understand even being a fresher, he did many, many things over there and his resume st stood out because the kind of internship, the kind of projects he had actually developed was quite amazing. Now, when I am a recruiter and I'm probably I'm seeing his resume, I'm already impressed with this. So as a fresher as an experienced person at least this should be the quality of your resume with respect to the content that you should basically have so make sure that you have a very good resume uh, and make sure that you write many many things with respect to high quality projects with respect to internship even though you are a professional right and probably have not worked in data science project try to convert your previous project try to develop that as a proof of concept and try to implement something with respect to data science so that you'll be able to explain that particular uh, life cycle of that particular project what all things you have basically implemented and what all things you are trying to plan it right it can be automation it can be probably reducing uh, the expenditure of the company probably doing some amazing things that which increases the revenue of the company it can be anything and always make sure that you write the goal of that specific project so probably if you probably see this entire project right here you'll be able to see i've discussed about this uh, his projects over here what all things he has basically done he's written it very much clearly so all these things are super important you can basically check out this particular video now this is the first thing Resume is must. You really need to have a very good resume, which is able to portray the information. Your GitHub should be public over there with the kind of work, at least some POCs that you have done. The GitHub should profile should be there. Uh, I'll, I'll not say with respect to certification. No, don't. Uh, it is not compulsory to write any kind of certification, but the kind of work that you have probably done should be portrayed from your resume. Okay. Now coming to the second step, once you are ready, you think that you are able to apply jobs, right? You think that you are ready to make a transition. The first and the best approach is that just go in LinkedIn and probably just see for data science jobs, right? This data science jobs, there are a lot of jobs. Now, when I search for data science job in LinkedIn, here you'll be able to see two days ago, one week ago, you can see so many different, different jobs profiles are there right and with respect to this particular companies in linkedin you have an easy apply option right you can apply it easily or you can also apply through this particular website itself of that specific company right so this is one approach the second thing is that linkedin daily you should keep a habit for the people who are looking for transition whenever you see any kind of opportunities and be, uh, like the the companies that are frequently hiring nowadays are like tiger analytics fractal AI, and all i have probably created a video regarding that also right so you can check out that particular video it was just my previous video over there so wherever you see this kind of profiles just go ahead and apply it the third thing that you should probably do is that go and check out the best companies that are hiring and just check out the career page now see, with respect to job search, right? If I probably see in ENY, ENY hires extensively with respect to data science. I can also hire like with respect to different, different profile. Now suppose if I'm putting a 
filter with respect to the countries let's say i go ahead and put india right so india is selected over here you can see over here senior analyst senior analyst you can see senior analyst there's so many different different job profiles even with respect to internships right here also you'll be able to find out with respect to different different domains also is there right data analytics is also there so suppose if i search for data analytics so here also you can see some intern tech consulting national with respect to data analytics and these are all our new jobs right suppose if i probably go and search for data science i think data science will also be included in data analytics itself so you cannot find that right so here you can see so many data analytics are there see tech consulting national and data analytics all these things are there internship is also there tech consulting is also there so there are extensive good amount of jobs right suppose uh, if i go and probably see another bigger companies like big four like kpmg right and if i probably go and check out the career page also so here also you'll be able to see a lot of jobs are there right jobs are there you can probably search for the jobs you can probably search with respect to countries also like this is not restricted only to india right in different different uh, uh, places also wherever they have you can also see over here right so for students for experienced professionals all these things are there right suppose if i am an experienced professional i'm searching for things you can find out the jobs over here right how we recruit you can probably see there so all these things you can definitely go ahead and probably apply for it but only thing the main reason that you may probably get shortlisted is because of your resume and the kind of work that you have done right so this career page many people miss it out you know they just focus on linkedin probably they may focus on nokri.com also right in india uh, this is probably the job portal where many people use so probably many people will also focus over here but the thing that they miss is that the career page is also super important because that is what the, our my my uh, subscribers have actually done the students of ineuron they have actually done they have applied jobs even through career page okay so this process don't forget to follow you have to probably go and check with respect to that also linkedin is also there you can also go into still i believe on this pro even i believe in nokri.com also uh, because when i was probably working previously in my companies like honeywell and all i got through link uh, through nokri only in some of the companies like eny and panasonic i got through linkedin right so both the possible ways are there and i also have applied in career jobs also and there also i've got a response i given multiple interviews but i did not take up the offer right because i had better offers at that point of time right so career page is super important right so this is the strategy that you should definitely follow but again saying your resume will play a very important role because with respect to any jobs you'll be seeing that many people will be applying okay now along with that what you can do is that referrals now coming to the next work right referrals how referral can play a very important role now see in fractal ai here you can probably see that there is a hiring uh, at the rate fractal.ai url right uh, this email id is there so what you can do is that you can drop me a mail with your resume with your github profile link with probably your achievements what all things you have done and again uh you many people will say about it as a cold email i'll also suggest okay it can be a cold email you can probably write a good set of information over there and attach your resume itself now after dropping a email what you can also do and this is super important with respect to referrals try to contact people who are working for that specific companies let it be eny let it be kpmg and let it be anything as such let's say if they are working in that ai department or they are working in that specific data science department what they can do is that referrals will definitely work in eny when i was working i'd given around 5 to 10 referrals and those referrals were closed very quickly right so referrals can also play a very important role right you what you can do is that you can probably search for any people who are working in that specific company and try to drop them a message with your resume with something right because understand if the employees are also giving referral right they also get a good kind of uh, you know reward for that uh, so in eny i had helped many people to come into there with respect to that referral scheme right so i knew within that ai department right there was some kind of requirements with respect to data analyst data scientist and all right so a good email for that specific person should be applied you can be probably just drop them a message or email with a specific thing with respect to your achievement and 
probably talk about that and what you can also do let's say if there is any job profile over here you can probably give this link of the job profile to them and you can probably say that okay i require a referral with this with, with a very very uh, you know uh, you can probably drop them a very professional email asking for this specific help and that will also definitely help percentage of increasing or getting that specific job increases and trust me guys with the referral you know where you can probably get the job in 15 days that can probably happen just in a week of time right so that way you can basically do it okay so again i'm repeating it and probably if you follow this there is a high probability right you can clear the job as quick as possible the first thing is that focus on your resume okay second thing keep on applying on linkedin or any non job portals like knockery.com and all okay third thing <clears throat> make sure that you keep on checking these companies who are hiring frequently right like there are many companies big four companies along with that there are also such amazing startups that are going good amount of hiring with respect to data science uh, data scientists data analyst and business analyst or data engineers right keep on checking the career page okay the career page is super important and finally just make sure that you go ahead and probably ask for the referrals whenever you can right so this is a strategy that you should definitely apply and this strategy why i'm saying you is that because many people have made that transition they have also followed this whenever I, the first thing when you, when I, whenever a successful career transition message comes to me i basically ask them how did you apply for the job and this is one of the way that they basically say right yes you also need to be patient sometime you may not get the response sometime you may not get the kind of response that you are expecting but you have to keep on repeating that specific task again and again focus more on improving your resume and then probably applying it again right patience is a virtue guys you really need to be patient over there so yes this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video i will see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you and all bye bye